Here we have another doozy of a problem. We're being asked to find all the zeros, including irrational zeros, of um, this fourth degree polynomial. So the process here, we're going to use the rational zeros theorem just to list all the possible zeros. We're going to test them by plugging them into this function, and I'll use a spreadsheet to help me with that, because we'll probably get quite a few possible zeros. And because it's a fourth de degree equation, we're going to test until we find two of them. That's going to allow us to do some polynomial division so that we end up with a quadratic that we can either factor or use the quadratic equation to solve. So those are the steps. This is probably going to take us a while. Let's start by using the rational zeros theorem to list all the possible zeros. And remember, we want the uh, factors of the, co the constant term over the factors of the leading coefficient. So the factors of constant term, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 5, plus or minus 10. And for the leading coefficient, just 1 and 7. And we'll put uh, these over these. So plus or minus 1, 2, 5 and 10, and then um, let's put them all over the 7, so plus or minus 1 7th, 2 7th, 5 7th, and 10 7th. We don't have any duplicates here, I don't think. So the next step would be to take all 16 of these values and plug them in. I do not want to crank out this math, taking things to the fourth and the third and the second power and adding and so forth, all that multiplying. I don't want to crank that out by hand. So I'm going to use a spreadsheet that I've already set up with this function. I'll show you that in a second. And then we're going to start by testing the whole numbers, assuming that the person who wrote this problem isn't going to cause us a lot of grief by making us do it with fractions. But we'll see. Um, so let me take you over to this spreadsheet. And what I've done here, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better, is in this cell, that's where I, uh, you can type in a value, a 0 to test. And in this cell, I've set up the function. This is 7 times the value in A1. So that's 7 times x to the fourth minus 48x to the third plus 62x squared plus 17x minus 10. So that is our function. It'll calculate the value of the function. What we're looking for here is a 0. So let's start with, well, 1 doesn't work. That gives us 28. Let's try negative 1. Nothing doing. How about uh, negative 2? Nope. How about 2? Aha! So 2 is a 0. Let's hope we find another one soon. Let's go to negative 5 and 5. Ah, 5. So 2 and 5. And that's actually enough. Once we've found two of the zeros, we can use polynomial division. So let's um, let's zoom out here, and we'll do that next step. So two and five are zeros of this function. What this means is x minus two and x minus five are factors. And what we really want to do next is take this whole big fourth degree uh, polynomial and divide it by that. Uh, I'm going to foil this out first before I do the division. So we'll multiply these two factors together. So that'd be x squared. And so a negative 2x and a negative 5x. So that'd be minus 7x and plus 10. So this is something we can divide out of. Uh, this this big long quadratic, or uh, sorry, uh, fourth degree function, and get a quadratic as the uh, answer. So we'll set up the polynomial division here. So 7x to the fourth minus 48x cubed plus 62x squared plus 17x and minus 10. All right, so um, the first question I'd ask is, what do I need to multiply this x squared by to get 7x to the fourth? The answer is 7x squared. 
and we'll do the division, the multiplication here. So this is 7x to the fourth. 7x squared minus times a negative 7x is going to be uh, minus 49x cubed. And 7x squared times 10x is going to be plus 70x squared. All right, then we subtract this whole thing, being very careful with the signs. So the leading terms disappear. I've got a negative 48x cubed minus a negative 49. That's a positive x cubed. And then I've got a, a 62x squared minus a 70x squared. So that's a negative 8x squared. And we bring down one more term, the 17x, so plus 17x. A little scrunched in the corner here, but we'll do what we can. Now, a next question, I want to get x cubed, what do I have to multiply x squared by? Well, that's just x, so plus x, and then we multiply this x by this whole thing. So we get x cubed, x times a negative 7x is negative 7x squared, and x times 10 is 10x. We will subtract again. So the leading terms come out to 0. I've got a negative 8x minus a negative 7x. So that's like plus 7x. So that's negative, sorry, x squared. I mean, negative x squared. And 17x minus 10x is 7x. And then I bring my last term down here. That's the negative 10. So minus 10. All right. Next piece here, what do I have to do to get uh, an x squared, uh, sorry, a negative x squared here? So I'd multiply it by negative 1. And you can see this just reverses all the signs on this thing when we do the multiplication. And those two, when we do the subtraction, oops, negative, negative 10, right? And a positive 7x. There we go. When we do the subtraction, that's going to come out to 0. So this is the quadratic we got. So 7x squared plus x minus 1. Now this doesn't look like it's going to factor. So at this point I'd want to try the quadratic equation and, and you can get a hint from the title here. We're going to get some irrational numbers uh, for our zeros here. So the quadratic equation is negative b, so that'd be negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared, so that's 1, minus 4 times a times c. So 4 times 7 times a negative 1. And that's all over 2a, so it's over 14. All right, let's simplify what's uh, uh, under the radical sign here. 4 times 7 is 28, negative 2, minus a negative 20. So this is 1 plus 28 or 29. So we've got negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 29 over 14. So our zeros then are 2, 5, negative 1 plus the square root of 29 over 14, and negative 1 minus the square root of 29 over 14. So uh, this is a lot of work, and it's probably a good idea to check your work using a graphing calculator. And uh, so I, what I've done here is I've just uh, punched in the function. And we can see we did get 5. We did get 2. That value, um, one, negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 29 over 14, uh, you can crunch those out on a calculator if you want to, but I, I guarantee these are the values that you're seeing right here uh, on this graph. So that is some work with finding all of the zeros, including some irrational zeros, of a fourth degree polynomial.